Okay, here is a quick demo to show how I was able to set up through ServiceNow.com a way to just do a simple HTTP request to a given URL to create an incident um, that tells me to reset the password for a particular user. All right, in order to do this, I'm going to use a combination of a UI page in ServiceNow.com as well as a script include that will be called via Ajax, uh, the Glide Ajax library with ServiceNow.com. So uh, the first things first, what uh, I did was create a UI page, and we'll go look at that UI page right now. I called it uh, URL Incident. Here, we'll look at that. Um, I just left it, the HTML is just the blank default uh, jelly script. Um, here's my client script, that's all it is. It's making a Glide Ajax call to a script include called URL Incident, and it's going to take the. I'm going to be accept, expecting a, a get parameter on the URL that's user equals and then a username. So this just grabs uh, those request request parameters and replaces, uh, gets rid of the user string, and and we'll just send what's left as the username. Nothing really scientific about it. Um, easily, I mean, we can make this more robust, but for this example, we really don't care. Okay, and then we will submit through the XML, and we'll just, uh, in my script here, I'm just displaying the username afterward. So um, that's my client script. We need to make this client script, this uh, UI page, publicly available. So in order to do that, we need to make this a public page. Now for me, if I typed in public pages in the module search, this did not come up. What I had to do is I had to edit my system definition application here. And we'll let that come up. And I had to search for uh, public pages, which is right here. This was set to false for active. I had to go and set that to true. Uh, once I did that, public pages showed up right here. So um, we click on public pages, and I clicked new, but as you can tell here, I created, and all it is is a one-field entry. You type the name of your UI page. In my case, it was URL incident, and then you just hit save. Uh, that makes your UI page uh, visible to anybody that's not even authenticated into your servicenow.com instance. Okay? Now we're going to go to our script include that is being called by our UI page uh, client script. And we'll go look at that script include right here. And I believe I called it the same name, URL incident. I'll click here. And this is our script. Um, at first I thought I'd be creative and use SOAP, but instead we're just gonna use the glide record method here. Um, we're going to get a sysparm username uh, that's being sent through the Ajax call that I showed you in the UI page client script. We're going to create an incident, uh, put that username as the caller ID, create a short description saying, hey, reset password for user, and then so and so. We're also setting our impact and urgency and doing an insert. So let's, uh, let's see how that works. Here is going to be my URL. Um, actually, let's go first to our incident list. Make sure I don't have any incidents, password request incidents in there. Don't want any smoke and mirrors. And we're sorting backwards on created. Okay, so nothing's there right now. So let's go back to our URL, our other browser. This browser is not authenticated into servicenow.com. If I were to create a new tab, and go to servicenow.com, it says, oh, you're not authenticated and it wants me to authenticate. I'm using OpenID with Google on this instance. Uh, for this page, we're gonna do the same instance. We're gonna give it a URL of urlincident.do, and here's our only uh, HTTP uh, parameter that we're passing. It's user equals, and then that username. So we'll hit enter, reload, and I have an alert box that should pop up just to tell me when it's done here, and as you can see, it's done, and it, it put David Liu as, as my user, which was the user in um, my, my URL. So let's go back to our incident list. Let's refresh that incident list. 
And as you can see, we have a request with impact urgency set, caller ID of David Liu, and a short description saying, hey, we need to reset the password for user David Liu. And that's how I created a, a method of creating a password reset incident uh, through a simple HTTP request.